take some produce. That's what the brown paper The community is. response to this garden that was really just an experiment. It was really just a, you know, notion that maybe Savannians would really like to get involved with coming together, growing some food, uh, maybe sharing some food with people who don't have as much, uh, are, in, are in need, and just learning, really learning about how it feels to plant your own flowers, your own herbs, plant your own vegetables and watch them grow, and learning about how to make it really successful here. More than 70 volunteers have come out totally of their own time, just because of their own interest, and they've come again and again and again for four months to Trustees Garden, to the Canyon Ranch Institute Healthy Garden. This was just a beginning. I know it looks like a lot right now, but it's really just 10 raised beds that have been super successful and made a lot of produce that's being shared with people in need. It's being shared with restaurants like Department 7 East and Pachi Italian Kitchen and Bar who put the foods from the garden on their menus and then they donate the proceeds from those dishes back into the garden. We're going to be talking with people across Savannah to find out what else they would like to see here. We, we hope that through contemplative gardening and mindful gardening and being one with the space and the outdoors that people can lower their stress levels through our program. There's definitely a culture here of agriculture and things where people understand the, the importance of growing crops and then the nutrients that you can gain from vegetables. Because we want to know what people want to see in this garden. We're envisioning it as a contemplative garden where people can come and learn how to manage their stress. So what does it mean to Savannah? We're really looking forward to that.